Hey fellow book lovers! Today I'm bringing you my October wrap-up and November TBR. I only read three books in October and two of them were rereads. The first book I read in October is The Shadow Throne by Jennifer A. Nielsen. Okay, in my previous wrap-up and TBR video I said that I just started reading this and it's probably going to ruin me. Well, it did. Oh my gosh, so much stuff happened in this book. It was so heartbreaking and I just, ugh, I loved it so much. And of course, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars and I did a review on the trilogy. That was also my previous video, so that video will of course be linked in the description down below and it will also be at the end of this video. If you want to know more of my thoughts on the trilogy, then you can go and check out my review if you want to. If my review doesn't make you want to read the trilogy, then you could go and check out the False Prince book trailer that is actually linked in the description in my review video. And that book trailer is amazing! So make sure to check out my review video and the amazing book trailer, please. Even though so much stuff happened, so heartbreaking, intense, and amazing, in the end, I am very, very happy with the ending. I was hoping that that is how it was going to end while I was reading The Shadow Throne, and it did. Yes. <laughs> Just, uh. The next two books that I read in October are The Maze Runner and The Scorch Trials by James Dashner. I reread these books because I really want to get to reading The Fever Code and I promised myself that I would reread the entire Maze Runner series before I read The Fever Code. And I read these books by listening to the audiobook of them. It was actually interesting experience because I've never actually listened to an audiobook before so these ones were my first ones. I'm going to be continuing with the series, the rest of the series, by listening to the audiobooks of those books. I actually loved getting back into the Maze Runner world and it got me really excited to finally read the Fever Code and also really excited for the Death Cure movie all over again. I mean, I was excited already, but my excitement for them didn't really come out of me as much as it usually does. That's only because I've been away from the Maze Runner world for so long that I really just needed to reread them to get back into the world, get my excitement up again. So, and the books I will be planning on reading in November are The Death Cure, The Kill Order, and The Fever Code, all by James Dashner. I am planning on reading the audiobook of The Death Cure and The Kill Order. For The Fever Code, I'm just going to read it how I normally read. I'm not going to listen to any audiobook just because I don't want to. So far, for the audiobooks, I actually am kind of enjoying them. I can't wait to continue on rereading the books in the series that I've already read before and can't wait to just finally get to The Fever Code. If you don't know what The Maze Runner is about, it's pretty much where all these teenage boys get thrown into this place called The Glade and it's surrounded by a gigantic maze. All of the boys have their memory wiped and they only remember their first name. And even their first name is not even their real names. Basically, their goal is to try to find a way out of that maze and along the way, trying to figure out how to get out, there's a bunch of mystery to it and action and adventure that will really have you on the edge of your seat. By the end of the first book, you will want to continue on with the series. So the Fever Code is pretty much all of the stuff that happened right before they went into the glade in the maze. I'm really interested to see what's going to happen in the book and what happened throughout all that time because I'm really curious. The last book that I'm actually planning on reading in November is Unblemished by Sarah Ella. This book is a Beauty and the Beast retelling story and I do love the story of Beauty and the Beast and I first heard of Sarah Ella from my older sister Christina and Sarah Ella is actually a booktuber herself and this is her first debut novel. 
this is also a first book in a trilogy. This book sounds really interesting. If you want to know more about it, of course, the link to the book will be in the description. It would be a lot better if you did actually read the description for yourself instead of me telling you what it's actually about. My sister has already started reading this book and if I wasn't rereading the Maze Runner series and if I've already read The Fever Code, I probably would be reading this. It seems like that she is really enjoying it so far, so I really, really can't wait to start reading this book. Also, look at the cover. Oh my gosh. The feeling of it, it's so soft and so shiny. The purple and just everything on the cover. Oh, it's so pretty. If you want to know more about Sarah Ella and her process writing the whole book and everything, then I'll leave the link to her channel in the description down below. As always, I leave all my links down in the description below to my social media, to my previous videos, to the music I have in this video, to the books. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you have an amazing day. I love you all so much. I make videos every Tuesday and or Friday. So look out for my next video, which will be coming out sometime soon. Bye fellow book lovers.